Danish stove. Um, this is the Huam. It is a Huam 2630C. There's a lot in their range, so I can't remember all the models. It's got the sort of output that we like for our houses, which is around the five kilowatt mark. But it's a, it's a convection stove. It's what we call a cylinder stove. Um, and whenever you see the Scandinavian stoves, they do, you know, just about every company does this sort of cylindrical stove. But the Huam is pretty unique in the way it operates. And it's a really, really good system. Um, we absolutely love these stoves. High build quality, as you'd expect from any Danish stove. But what I really want to show you is how these things operate, how you control them. This particular stove comes with the um, wood store on the bottom. Got your ash collection tray in here. And that's your control. It's behind the door. And the reason for that is you don't need to keep accessing it. Once you've set this, the stove does everything for you. The stove knows when it's cold, it'll open up its own controls, it knows when it's up to temperature and it will shut its own controls down. All you've got to do is put wood in this thing and it, like I say, it'll do the rest for, for you. Even from cold lighting, it will put the right amount of air into the stove in the right places as you would normally do with your controls on a conventional stove. I've got a little demonstration blue Peter thing here, which I can show you how that works in a very simple way. This, this is what we use to show customers how, what is happening within that stove to make that work. And once you see that, you think, oh, you know, that's simple. It's simple, but effective um, and ultimately super reliable. Right, what we've got here is just a simple setup to show you how this mechanism works within a stove. It's quite simple. When you, when you see it working. You've got your three main air inlets that you get with any other stove. Um, that's for, you know, your, your lighting of the stove, your primary air. Um, that opens up, acts like bellows um, to get air into the fuel bed to get it up to temperature. Once that's up to temperature, you'll see this start to close off. Then it opens up your tertiary air and your air wash. The tertiary air is basically like your turbocharger on a car. It's reburning off the smoke at the back of the stove. And then the air wash is what you basically use for your for your main control once the stove's up to, te to temperature. I'm going to be putting some heat on this little metal spring here, and it's all about expansion and contraction. When you heat some metal up, it reacts and moves. So there's no electronics, no batteries, nothing like that. It's a very very simple mechanism. So here we go. Keep an eye on the uh, controls here. I'm going to apply some heat to the little spring at the back. And you should see... those outlets reacting. Of course, the cooling down process takes a lot longer. So, you know, you wouldn't want to sit here watching a video of that happening. When these, it cools down and it realises it's not getting enough air, the bottom air control will open up again, um, introducing more air. So if you put in more fuel on it, it's going to get that lit very quickly. Or if it's the end of the burn, it's going to open up the control and burn off all that ash and embers at the end. So you're going to come down to a nice powdery ash, nice clean fuel bed. So as I've got my uh, trusty blowtorch in my hand, I thought I might as well light this and show you how this one looks when it's going as well. Here we go. So there you go, I just lit that very quickly. The, the control is set kind of midway, but like I say, don't really need to touch that. Once you know how your stove runs, you probably won't need to touch that again really. Just leave the door slightly ajar for a couple of seconds, let the fire get established. Like I say, it doesn't take long on this. Shut the door again. That's going to do its thing. There you go, that's um, been lit for about five minutes now. Flame's nice and established. Control is set halfway, don't need to touch that again. Just shut the door. Now it's, it's fully under its own control now. So here you go, you've got the rolling flames going on in the tall window of the Juan stove. Um, I can already feel the amazing heat, radiant heat through the glass, feel the convected warm air coming from it. 
super efficient stove. And like I say, that's just after five minutes. Once this thing's up to temperature, they really come in their own, into their own.